Now that we have covered the ribs, spine, and body wall, we are ready to tackle the pelvis. Pelvic fractures are common in high-velocity trauma, and the pelvis has predictable patterns of injury due to its ringed structure. It is helpful to think of pelvic fractures like breaking a pretzel. You cannot break it in just one place. If you see one pelvic fracture, you will find others. In this MedMastery lesson, we will consider three types of pelvic fractures. Pubic ramus fractures, sacral fractures, and acetabular fractures. Let's look at pubic ramus fractures. A common fracture pattern is a fracture of the pubic ramus involving both small bones of the pubis, the superior and inferior pubic rami. The pubic rami connect in the midline to form the pubic body. Here is a 3D image of the pelvis in this patient who has fractured both the left and right sides of the pelvis. Let's be sure to remember that this ring will fracture in two places and look for injuries in both the superior and inferior pubic rami in the axial images. For the superior pubic ramus injuries, the right side involves part of the pubic body. The left side is higher and involves the anterior acetabulum. For the lower pubic ramus, the right fracture is relatively subtle with a thin cortical defect. But the left fracture is displaced and slightly offset. Sacral fractures are often associated with injuries to the other pelvic bones. In severe trauma with compressive forces, there can be fractures involving the sacrum and sacroiliac joint, often with either widening of the pubic symphysis or fracture of the pubic ring. Sacral fractures typically follow a vertical orientation along the bone. On CT, sacral fractures will look like irregular lines and cortical defects, which means abnormal dark lines through the dense outer bone indicating fracture. These injuries can also be associated with widening of the sacroiliac joint. In this patient, there is injury to the left sacrum with cortical irregularities and linear defects extending deeper into the trabecular bone. The sacroiliac joint is slightly wider on the left than on the right, but it is a fairly subtle difference in this case. Acetabular fractures may accompany other pelvic injuries. Fractures of the acetabulum occur when the femoral head is driven into the pelvis. Acetabular fractures are best seen on the coronal images where we can see the familiar appearance of the hip joint. In this example, there is a large displaced cortical defect in the left acetabulum, as well as fracture of the iliac bone. Remember to always look for multiple pelvic fractures when evaluating a pelvic injury. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account, which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.